Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear friends, welcome back. Today we will solve problem 7.4. The statement of problem is that for given state of stress, determine the normal and shearing stress exerted on oblique face of shaded triangle as shown. Use a method of analysis based on equilibrium of that element as was done in derivation. So you can see here that this is the element under state of stress and this is the shaded portion I will draw over here so this is the shaded portion so you have to find the normal and sharing stress on this oblique plane so this is oblique plane so you can see here this is 55 degrees so remaining will be 35 and similarly this will also 55 degree so I have uh, shown this element over here so you can see 80 megapascal stress, 40 megapascal stress on this face and this is the oblique plane. So this is oblique plane. So here the normal stress will be perpendicular to this surface and that is sigma dash and there is a shear stress there. So this represent the stresses. So let uh, this area is A as shown over here. So this is same triangle, this angle is 55 degree so let this area of oblique plane is a so again this face will be equal to a cos of 55 and similarly the perpendicular face will be a sin of 55 degree so we will resolve these stresses into forces so again you can see if i multiply this stress with this area so the force on this area will be 80 into a cos of 55 and this force is in this direction not in this direction so this is this force is in this direction again this stress will be converted into force if you multiply this stress with this area so again you can see 40 into a sine of 55 force is acting on this and this stress is when multiplied by with this oblique area so this will be sigma dash into a and shear stress will be converted into shear force by sigma tau dash into a now we will resolve each force into its rectangular component in in the direction of uh, sigma dash and tau dash so let let's start that there so for that i have to draw uh, a triangle so let this let me draw a bigger triangle similarly another triangle so this angle was 55 degree sorry 55 degree now we'll choose different color in order to have a clear understanding so let this force was let me show over here so this force is 80 into a cause of 55 degree here again this force which was 40 not in this direction but it's in this direction so this force is 40 into a sine of 55 degree here and this force is sigma dash and this is shear stress so this is sigma dash into a this is force this is star dash into a and we have two normal forces one is this and this there so we will convert them into its component so if i uh, split this force into its rectangular component one is in this direction in sigma dash direction another in so let this is parallel to this force shear force and another one is parallel to this sigma dash direction so 
again if you look at this that this force is perpendicular to this face clear and this force is perpendicular to this so the angle between this face and this face is 55 degrees so angle between this force and the force that is perpendicular to this oblique plane will be 55 degrees so this angle will be 55 degree again this stress will be equal to this uh, perpendicular stress will be equal to ATA ATA cos of 55 degree into cos of 55 degree because this is base so cos of 55 degree and this force will be equal to ATA cos of 55 degree into this is the perpendicular so it will be sine of 55 degree also we will split uh, this force into its component so let me split it so one force in in this parallel to this clear and the second force will be parallel to this sorry the force will be parallel to this clear so you can see that this face and this oblique face having angle 35 degree now this force is perpendicular to this face and this force is perpendicular to this face so this angle will be 35 degree and this angle will be equal to 55 degree so again this component will be equal to 40 a sine of 55 degree and since it is perpendicular so it will be again sine of 55 degree and this component will be equal to 40 a sine of 45 55 degree into cos of 55 degree now you can see that the force has been all the forces have been resolved into in its component along sigma dash and tau dash so we will apply equilibrium condition for getting sigma dash and tau dash so sum of all forces along sigma x dash is equal to zero remember this subscript means that in the direction of sigma dash and if you take this direction as negative and this direction is positive it's also correct and if you take this as positive and other one is negative it is also correct I have assumed that this direction is negative and this direction will be positive so again you can see in this direction this force Sigma dash into a which is negative now there is another force which is this this one in, in direction of Sigma dash so it will be 80 into a this is cos so I will just write cos square 55 again this force is in negative direction because it is in same direction which is 40 this force which is minus 40 into a sine square 55 degree this sine square 55 degree their sum must be equal to 0 so if uh, a is common if you take a common and divide both side by a so we will get sigma dash will be equal to 80 a cos square 55 degree minus 40 sorry not a because I have taken A out. So ATA, let me write it again. So it is AT cos square 55 degree minus 40 sine of sine square 55 degree. So when you calculate it, 
so the value of sigma dash comes out to be minus 0 0.521 mega Pascal so this is normal stress on, on oblique now for finding tor dash we apply sum of all forces along tor dash is equal to zero so you can see the one force if you take i have assumed that this is downward and negative so it would be minus tor dash into a you can take it as positive as well but other component in this direction will be positive uh, negative in this case i have taken this force as downward so it is minus tor dash into a and you can see there is a force which is in this direction opposite to this tor dash a dash and this force is 40 a sine of 55 into cos of 55 so plus 40 a sine of 55 degree into cos of 55 degree again there is another force which is this one and this one is 80 a cos of 55 into sine of and this is also plus so 80 a sine of 55 degree into cos of 55 degree where sum must be equal to zero so again a is common you can take a as common from all and if you divide both sides by a so you will get tor dash will be equal to 40 a sine of 55 degree into cos of 55 degree plus 80 a sine of 55 degree into cos of 55 degree both are both having the same element so it will be equal to 120 into a sine of 55 degree into cos of 55 degree so again by using your calculator if you calculate this so this tor dash will be equal to 56.4 mega Pascal. So this was all about so we have the value of sigma dash is equal to minus 0 0.521 mega Pascal there minus and this tor dash is equal to 56.4 mega Pascal. One more thing is that this value is negative so it means that our assumed direction was this one and this is uh, tensile one so you can say that this will be this one there and this force shear stress can be in this direction if because we have assumed downward as negative so this is negative so this is positive so your direction may be like this there. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any question, you can ask. Thank you for watching.